All right, welcome back, everybody. We're on episode two of season five tonight. So, season one, or season one, episode one of season five was kind of slow setting up where everything was. Old crazy, crazy Stannis tried to burn a uh, man's raider alive. John shot him in the heart with an arrow. He's like, I ain't having that. I'm not in this misery. And. Daenerys is <laughs> trying to be nice to her dragons, but they ain't hearing it. And Tyrion is drunk. No, yeah. that's Tyrion. That's about it. Yeah. That's about all we saw. And then Brienne was being mean to Podrick for no reason. <laughs> <She will. laughs> so we didn't see any Arya last episode. Oh, and Littlefinger and... Oh, yeah, Littlefinger and Sansa are going somewhere. Yeah. And that, the nephew or her cousin. Oh, oh He's yeah. there with that Robin. Guy. Yeah. Would we'll be dead in about five get, seconds of a fight. He's getting trained, so... Oh, that. <laughs> They're attempting to train him. <laughs> he's untrainable. He's not untrainable. He's untrainable. <laughs> well, let's let's get into episode two. Have a choice, my friend. You can stay here at Illyria's palace and drink yourself to death, or you can ride with me to Marine, meet Daenerys Targaryen, and decide if the world is worth fighting for. Who swore to find the Stark girls? I found Arya. She didn't want my protection. I am the brother of Elia Martell. Yes, he ain't gonna let that mess. I have to close my eyes every time. <laughs> I did not take up residence in this pyramid so I could watch the city below decline into chaos. You know what Stannis wants? He wants me to bend the knee. And he wants the free folk to fight for him. But I'll never serve him. Hmm. If the day comes when you must find me again, just give that coin to any man from Bravos and say these words to him. Valam Gaulis. How do I this? If that's the last, it's all her. Yeah. I'll wait till you're done. <laughs> so who will be taking over Lannister's castle or ram? Then would step with fire in his dirty ass. Oh, the uncle. <laughs> Don't be afraid. He's announcing our arrival. I'm not afraid. <laughs> That's a big city, kind of like a uh, King's Landing. Yeah. I gotta say, she'd be all over the world. Yeah, she's well traveled. <laughs> <laughs> the house of black and white. This is where you'll find the man you seek. Hmm. Black and white doors. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me. Any man of Bravos would have done the same. <laughs> the big building. Yep. I'm back. You don't see this shit yet. <laughs> Hello. Follow Mogulis. <laughs> Jack and Hagar gave me this. No one here by that name. Please. <laughs> I have nowhere else to go. You have everywhere else to go. I have nowhere else to go. He's like, yeah, you do. The mountain, Marin Trout, Cersei. <laughs> Jim, say the hell. Damn. Our Joffrey. Joffrey's dead. <laughs> the mountain, Marin Trout, Walder Frey. Hmm. 
Must be good food if it's crowded. Ale? <laughs> Didn't even ask Brianna, she won't even. Uh oh. Before we left, a maester gave you a raven scroll. My marriage proposal has been accepted. Uh oh. My lady. What is it? Sansa Stark. Don't look. You sure? She's dyed her hair, but it's her. She's sitting with Peter Baelish. Little finger. My lady, I don't think this is the right Ready place. Ready the horses. We only have one horse. Find more. <laughs> oh, now he's good. Yeah. yeah. But she's sitting there now. Don't sort the That's fair enough. Lord Baelish, Lady Sansa, my name is Brienne of Tarth. We've met with Renly Baratheon. She just don't go back there, just like... Brienne's not the most thoughtful <laughs> person. Before your mother's death, I was her sworn sword. I gave my word I would find you and protect you. Oh, I guess so, Sarah. Strange. I knew Kat from the time we were children. She never mentioned you. It was after Renly's murder. This woman swore to protect Renly. She failed. She swore to protect your mother. She yeah. failed. But she wasn't there. She was captured. Welcome. Why should you have any say in her affairs? Because I am her uncle. We're family now. And you are an outsider. Forgive me, Lady Brienne, but experience has made me wary of outsiders. <laughs> Saw you at Joffrey's wedding, bowing to the king. Neither of us wanted to be there. Sometimes we don't have a choice. And sometimes we do. And what you do? What you do? You bow to. I'm just saying. Why don't you stay? Well, I don't ask you to stay, so what are you doing? You're a little better at riding. Hmm. Little. Mm -hmm. Well, not much. <laughs> He's gonna, please don't let him get killed. Stop! Stop! Oh my god. Oh no, <laughs> oh, no. See, you've been mean to patch. Hmm. Uh, uh, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Just stand through the neck. Stand now. Yes, Millie. Signs are stark. I saw her riding on the east road with Littlefinger. We'll follow them. Get your horse. <laughs> he said, why are we doing this? I mean... A summons from the Queen. <laughs> there are only two <laughs> like it in the world. The one I'm wearing, the one I gave to Marcella. It's a threat. Our daughter's alone in dawn, surrounded by people who hate our family. I said she might not be safe no more. But y'all don't kill the prince. Our eldest child murdered at his own wedding. Well. Our only daughter shipped off to dawn. Well, she probably better off without you. <laughs> yeah. Smirking whore from High Garden. Billy's Marjorie. <laughs> I'm going to dawn. And I'm bringing our daughter home. You go down there with an army, it's an act of war. No army. I'll find her. Why don't you say her? You're going to dawn a one-handed man alone. Yeah. I never said I was going alone. <laughs> and music, I adore music, but no flute. This is his wife. Apparently. Or his betrothed. <laughs> Whatever they say. That's what they eat in the capital, don't they? The one that's dim witted. <laughs> it's a fine place, isn't it? I never thought I'd end up settling down in a place like this. You won't. When mother dies, my sister gets the castle because she's older. She hates me. She calls me mean names, and sometimes, even still, she pulls my hair when mother's not looking. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Sister is a mean person. I've been all over the world, and if there's one thing I've learned, that meanness comes around. That's true. They always get what's coming to them, eventually. Mm, that's true. Who's that? Jamie fucking Lannister. <laughs> so, Jamie? <laughs> run of the black. This is 
My betrothed, Lollis. <laughs> My betrothed. <laughs> Run along, off. <laughs> Don't be getting infatuated with yeah, him. <laughs> look at him, a cute guy. <laughs> when were you planning on getting married? Just get on with it. Well, with what? What you're here for. There's no way this little visit could possibly mean anything good for me. <laughs> Lollis will be marrying Sir Willis Brack. How is this good for me? Because you're going to come with me and help me with something important. And when we return, I'm going to give you a much better girl and a much better castle. <laughs> return from where? I know that ain't the girlfriend. Why she's still there? <laughs> she is. Oh, I guess she back home. Yeah. Back in the, world. the prince does not wish to be disturbed. Captain! <laughs> Your brother was murdered. Oberyn was slain during a trial by combat by law that is no murder. What will you do about his death? I will bury him. I will mourn for him. And then? You would have me go to war. The whole country would have you go to war. Then we are lucky the whole country does not decide. <laughs> the sand snakes are with me. They will avenge their father while you sit here in your chair doing nothing. Oh, he must be the older brother. Mm -hmm. Oberyn is dead. This Lannister girl skips about the water gardens, eating our food, breathing our air. Oh, she just inherited the hatred for the Lannisters, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let me send her to Cersei. One finger at a time. <laughs> but we do not mutilate little girls for vengeance. The Unsullied are too conspicuous. Of course you haven't found any sons of the harpy. <laughs> On the other hand, drink or they blend in. Follow people from the taverns to nice quiet alleys. Before you know it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no one here. We go. In a hurry? You're afraid? Unsullied. Fear nothing. Well, that's your problem. <laughs> Someone who's forgotten fear has forgotten how to hide. <laughs> fear is useful that way. <laughs> oh, wow. Sons of the Harpy. They want to put a collar back on my neck. You must kill him. It would send a message. Why should he want to bring back slavery? What did it do for him? They pay him. <laughs> Great family is afraid to do a thing. They pay poor men to do it for and them. And how do you know this? Everyone know this. I don't know it. And I'm the head of a great family. Give him a trial, at least. Mercy. Fair trial. These mean nothing to them. All they understand is blood. <laughs> Thank you all for your counsel. So you got the poor man and uh, master. Yeah. Kind of like serving on council. Yeah. Okay. The Mad King. Your hit reminds me of my enemy's lies. Your enemies did not lie. Go on. When the people rose and revolted against him, your father set their towns and castles aflame. He burnt men alive with wildfire and laughed as they screamed. I'm not my father. But the Mad King gave his enemies the justice he thought they deserved. And each time it made him feel powerful and right until the very end. Mm. Kind of got a point there. <laughs> I will not have the son of the harpy executed without a fair trial. So what's his name is just gone? We ain't gonna see no storyline about him no more. Who, Jorah? The one that was spying on her. Oh, Jorah Mormon? Yeah. You have to watch and see. Yeah. I want to take a walk. You can't. Cersei has offered a lordship to the man who brings her your head. She ought to offer her cunt. Best part of her for the best part of me. <laughs> <laughs> Are we really going to spend the entire road to Volantis talking about the futility of everything? The road to Volantis? You said we were going to Marine. What's in Volantis? The road to Marine. And what do you hope to find at the end of the road to Marine? A ruler. Every pile of shit on the side of every road has someone's <laughs> banner hanging from it. <laughs> she wanted me to leave King's Landing. I wouldn't go. Why? Because I liked it. Let's go for a walk. No. How many dwarves are there in the world? Just you, probably. I mean, well, no. There's more, but obviously not enough. Not him. Shall I throw him in a cell, Your Grace? It won't be necessary, Simran. I don't want to dissuade the other hunters. Mistakes will be made. Oh, I guess that's supposed to be. <laughs>
So I guess that's supposed to be Tyrion, huh? <laughs> he mad. <laughs> You're the hand of the king. No, uncle. I'm merely advising my son until he comes of age and chooses a hand for himself. Your grace, I would be willing to serve provisionally as the king's hand. In addition to being master of ships, the king has appointed you master of coin. Oh, your grace. He called your... Yeah, great. The honor is all mine, your grace. The king uh, is named Kyburn, the new master of whispers. Qualifications can he possibly have for this post? The qualification of loyalty, Grand Maester. That's far more than the eunuch ever had. In light of your position as commander of the Lannister armies, it would please the king if you would serve as his master of war. I would like to hear it from the king himself. I returned to the capital to pay my respects to my brother and to serve the king. I did not return to the capital to serve as your puppet. Mm. I do not recognize your authority to dictate what is and is not my concern. You are the queen mother, nothing more. Oh, she's gonna be a problem. You would abandon your king in his time of need. If he wants to send for me, I will be waiting for him at Casterly Rock. You know this one? Snake. Snake. S. It's an S. Right. Very good. Did you know that the youngest Lord Commander in history, Osric Stark, was elected at the age of ten? I know S. Well, you're a wonderful teacher. <laughs> Very patient. I only said that the more time that you spend practicing, the faster you'll be able to read. That's all right. I'm sure you and <laughs> Ostrich Stark have a lot to talk about. What's your mind you will get that to um, Sam? Billy. I don't know who. Me. What do you call it in the South? What happened to your face? Grayscale. How did they kill you? I don't remember. What happened to your sisters? They started to sound not like themselves. Did you ever see them? Only once at the end. They were covered with it. They acted like animals. Oh, really? Mother. Leave us. You need to stay away from that girl. Why? She's a wildling. No. To her people. He executed their king for treason. They could strike at him by striking at you. You won't care. You have no idea what people will do. I don't like her. Huh? Yeah. Apparently, you burn people alive, so. You showed mercy to Mansurader. King's word is law. Perhaps you should ask the Davos how much mercy I show to lawbreakers. You sit there, where a prowler. They don't fear you, they don't follow you. With respect, Your Grace, the free folk will never follow you, no matter what you do. <laughs> Who then? Only one of their own. Do you know this wretched girl? Lyanna Mormont, Lady of Bear Island. I asked her to commit her house to my cause, that's her response. Bear Island knows no king but the king in the north, whose name is Stark. That amuses you. <laughs> Apologize, Your Grace. Northerners can be a bit like the free folk, loyal to their own. <laughs> Tonight, the Night's Watch elects a new Lord Commander. Sir Alice of Thorne is going to win. He thinks you're a traitor. What's your life going to be like here at the wall with Thorne in command? Unpleasant, I expect. Your bravery made him look weak. He'll punish you for it. But they've been doing this ever since he's been there. So it ain't going to be no I don't different. Know what I have left to give you. You can give me the north. How are you going to do that? Even if I wanted to, I'm a bastard. Kneel before me. Lay your sword at my feet. Pledge me your service and you'll rise again as John Stark. You always want everybody to kneel at your feet. He'll make you a Stark with the stroke of a pen. It's the first thing I ever remember wanting. He deserved this. I couldn't be happier for you. I'm going to refuse him. Yeah. He'd be Lord saying. of Winterfell. I swore a vow to the Night's Watch. If I don't take my own words seriously, what sort of Lord of Winterfell would I be? At least he know to keep his word. Does anyone wish to speak for candidates for the 998th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch? Of course he will. Sir Alice of Thorne is not just a knight, he's a man of true nobility. He was acting commander when the wall came under attack and led us to victory against the wildlings. Really? And where were you? He's the only true choice. Yes. Yeah. They both ran away. And has served loyally longer than any other ranger. What are he gonna do? <laughs> we could do no better. If there is no one else, we will begin the voting. Each Mr. Raymond. Will... Hmm. 
Samuel Charlie. Go on. <coughs> Sam the Slayer. How's your lady love, Slayer? <laughs> Her name is Gilly. Brother Slint knows her quite well. They cowered together in the larder during the battle for the wall. Yes, you did. I found him there after the battle was over, in a puddle of his own making. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst Lord Janus was hiding with the women and children, Jon Snow was leading, took charge of the wall's defence. He killed the Magna of the Thens. Before that, he led the mission to avenge Lord Commander Mormon. He may be young, but he's the commander we turn to when the night was darkest. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> he said he was cowering in Can't him. argue with any of that. But who does Jon Snow want to command? Night's Watch or the Wildling? We all saw him put the king beyond the wall out of his misery. Do you want to choose a man who has fought the Wildlings all his life? Or a man who makes love to them? Yeah. It is time. He ain't gonna get it because. Are oh. you. Can they vote for themselves? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. They had a tie? They had a tie? It appears to be a tie, Master. Hmm. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What happened? What happened? I mean, he won, but what happened? He's the lower commander now. But how did he do? I mean, what did he do? Because it was a tie. He put his... He casted his vote. Oh. It was the last vote. He John. <laughs> John got it. John got it. Now, I wouldn't trust no man to sit there coward in the dog on in his own making. Turn around and go. That's a nice little sword. Worth a hundred pages of sword like that. Nothing's worth anything to dead men. Quickly, go, go. Why were they scared of you? You lost this. <laughs> oh, oh, <I'm> serious. <laughs> Where these places be coming from? There's no Jack and Hagar here. A man is not Jack and Hagar. Well, who are you then? No one. And that is who we're going to become. Yeah. Now you're going to go through. Ah, look at him. Do, go down there and get the, get it out of the water and float it back up. What? Ain't no telling. <laughs> oh, don't do nothing that you ain't supposed to do. Oh Lord, he killed her. He killed her. Why? Ashe, Misa, Evelska ye as dang mulilash. Ivas gatori ines. Drivi mi jeta. Mel prisa shisha ochni eskore shis fos dal crotching wechi. Guragon jazdano glaison a ochani sostaur. Sirion dros. She should have cut off the traitor's head in the Great Pyramid and been done with it. Should I keep telling her to do to you? He said what? Keep telling her to do that to you. Yeah. Three of you may look vestritan. Sepa Jevi Remi, in not drania dat. Jahe Dania Mejere Otolion. Zagon Costos Tau. Misa. Godlo. Ingelere. She gonna do exactly what he told her not to do. Zirio Sentas. Right? Kilonarion Morhon Isa. He don't even want to do it. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, don't tell me that. God, don't tell me. Oh, God. Mm -mm. So you're going to give the master a trial, but kill the, 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 
Come on now. Oh my god. Oh yeah. They're gonna hate you, dummy. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's right. Cause how you gonna So how you gonna let him the, you want him to have a trial, but then you kill that the, the, the mm -hmm. poor man. Mm. She backwards. You hear me? I know that's real. Wow. She's stupid. That didn't work out very well for you. Because she's stupid. I stand guard outside your door tonight, Your Grace. You all guard tonight. Leave me. You stupid. Because how you gonna do... I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. She don't know how to pick a rule. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she don't. Just like she did with the dragons. The one messed up, then you gonna kill, you gonna put the other two away. See what that gonna kill your teeth. Dragon. And where my siblings at, Mama? Mm-mm. He said, I'm going to burn some more people. <laughs> we some more goats. Stop in and check on you. See how bad you're doing. I'm out. I just don't understand it. I'm sorry. I'm confused. I'm confused. What, Daenerys? Yeah. Yeah, she does some bad things. So you showed mercy for the master. So in return, you just showed them people that the people that you freed, you just like them. Yeah. I mean, there ain't no counter. Even the guy who chopped the head off, he ain't want to do it. I know. And I, I'm sorry, but I got to say this. That master, because the master people are the ones in the color, color yeah. cold, clothing, right? Yeah. So he serves on her council. I just, why I got a feeling he's the one behind all this stuff. I don't know. I, I, he, I, I, cause he has such a hatred for these people, the free people, the slaves. And you could tell it in his voice, the way he talks to that, that, uh, the guy that just got his head chopped off. Yeah. And the way that he looks at him, he has a hatred for him. He has a hatred for the, uh, Daenerys. Right, she came over and over his, his seat. But she don't, can't see that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm confused. I'm like, you let, You wanted the guy to have the trial, right? But then you killed the one who killed him. Because then he killed the Sully. So, and then in reality, you for the masters. Yeah, she should have just gave him a trial. Done the trial, and then he probably would have got found guilty, and because then they could have executed him. Yeah, because he killed the Unsullied, right? Part of her people. Right, Good. the slave, the the guy who they killed, the, the young boy killed. Oh. He killed the. Un it all started because the unsullied got killed because he was in there with the hoe, the prostitute. I'm yeah. sorry, the prostitute getting cuddled. Why she ain't dead? Where she at? I don't know. They probably ain't found her yet. She need to die too. I'm just saying. That's just stupid because so two of your people, two of your sl two slaves got killed under her watch, right? But the master, you, you, you for, for them. So two to one, 
So, I mean, the math ain't math. I'm just saying. It ain't math. Math ain't math, huh? I'm just, I'm, I'm pissed at her. She ain't ruling right now. You know why? Because she's sleeping with that dumb, dumb. <laughs> sex up. F you up every time. <laughs> That's Rob. Yeah. Sex would distract you, distract you every time. I'm just saying. Maybe she need to. And maybe he need to come back, the other guy. Sure. Yeah. He come back, she said he's going to kill her. She said he was, she was going to kill him. She crappy. I'm sorry, she's just not ruling very well for me. Well, she's young. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> She ain't got no everybody, experience. everybody young. That's why they have counsel around her. Well, she ain't listening very good. She sure what? Not at all. I'm going to say what? And what's her name? Ari. I'm glad Aria got into the House of Black and White. Yes, I'm glad she did. Um, then, you know, now Jamie is going off to Don't save. Try to save his daughter. Bring his daughter back. But that woman won't ever finish. She wants to bring take every piece of Oh, uh, she wants to send her send her back piece by piece. Mm mm. Well, he said they don't do that in their country. Yeah. We don't mutilate young girls or you know. Homer said the same thing. Apparently she wasn't listening. She didn't hear that part in school. <laughs> she, <laughs> she heard it. She just don't give a shit. <laughs> Yeah, she don't care right now. So this was a a good episode as opposed to uh so what do you think about John being one? in charge? John. Of the night's watch. Oh, I, I love that. I love that they picked him because and with leadership you have to lead by example. And that fool, he all he taught he's teaching the other people around him. I don't want to leave like I'm because there's a lesson you you learn with everybody, right? Yeah. He taught those people. Oh, I don't want to leave like him. I don't want to be like him because he old hateful for, it. you know. Yes, he he got some good strategies in war, <laughs> but shoot, not too good. You yeah. laying on your back after. <laughs> I mean, just and then the other guy with him. Oh yeah, one. You know your tail uh, was cowering in that dog gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> but Sam you can kill them. some kids. Sam busted them out good. Look, but you can kill some kids. All right, right? Cause they, 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 they look. Cause they, cause they, they, back. they, yeah, they don't fight back. So and then the older man, the second person that got nominated. What he gonna do? Hey. He look older than the, the master does. He look like he's on his deathbed almost. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm very happy that John Snow uh in your face, Stannis. Now <laughs> what I'm not kneeling to you in your face, Stannis. What? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. In your face, Stannis. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So I'm glad he got that that part. I'm glad he got that. I'm glad he got that. And yeah, he's a leader. He's a true leader because his daddy was a true leader. Yeah. Yeah. So he inherited that trait from uh, Ned. So it's good. It's good. So that was a good episode as opposed to one, y'all, because one, it was dragging. I was like, what the heck? Man, this is slow. <laughs> <laughs> They're picking up a little bit. Yeah, go on there. Oh, Chase. But that pick season, I mean, episode two. It's really good. Episode two was really good. So, um, thank you guys for joining us on this journey. If this is your first time watching, please hit the subscribe button and as always, like and comment. And until next time, bye bye. Bye. <laughs>